Hello! Today I'm here to talk about how to convert your Word documents into PDF files. Now there are a number of reasons this might be useful for you. PDFs are generally one of the best files to share between different operating systems, because there are typically no conversion issues. You can really count on them to appear the way you intend them to. They are also great for preventing editing to a file without the use of specialized software. They typically have smaller file sizes. And for official communications, many businesses and organizations prefer the PDF standard. So there are two ways to create PDFs within Microsoft Word. Both are useful and only take a minute, so we're going to run you through each of them here today. First, let's look at saving a version of your file as a PDF. To do that, you're going to come up here to the File menu. So the first method is the Save As version. To do this, you're going to choose the Save As command instead of just saving the file. When you do that, you can then select the PDF file type from this drop-down menu here. Give your file a name that's distinct from the Word version of the file that you've been working on to keep them from getting confused. And then, you will have created a PDF version of the document on your computer. If you're interested in a little more control over the PDF creation process, you want to come up here to File and choose Export instead. Then choose to export it as a PDF. Here you have a number of options that are useful for customizing your PDFs, but I want to draw your attention to one in particular because I find it useful a lot of the time. If you come over here, you can select a page range to export as a PDF rather than exporting the entire document. This is really helpful when you only need a portion of a document in PDF form. Another helpful option for documents that you may have shared with collaborators is this box here, Document Showing Markup. If you check this box, it allows you to include any tracked changes in the PDF that you export from Word. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.